Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless, so when you see them, is when you meant. <laughs> when you see them, is when you meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links will be in the description box down below. So let's get into your reading. Okay. First things first. This is the message. And I'm laughing because this card says exactly what... I'm going to tell you what it says in one minute. You probably can see it, but... All right, so the message is consistency, all right? You can do anything you need to do by being consistent. Consistency helps change things. So anything you want to do, you can do it by being consistent. Um, showing up every day, being consistent, creating daily rituals that are habits that put you in success mode, right? Even to the tune of this water. Me... Waking up every day and deciding the first thing I'm going to do is drink water. As long as I drink, do that, it's going to start me off with a healthy habit. I get good deeds for waking up drinking water. Okay? So, also along with that is consistently being inconsistent. Consistently not showing up for yourself. Consistently not trying to do the work. Conti consistently trying to cut it short. Consistently creating habits that you know are harmful to your system. So it works in, in reverse as well. But be consistent. It's always darkest before the dawn. Okay? So trying to get out of a dark place. Before you get out, you could be going through the worst trauma ever. Okay? And if you're consistent in the work, it doesn't matter. You're going to eventually get out, okay? So, but if you consistently cut the work short, and the minute you feel something, oh, it worked, and then you stop doing it, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be in a dark-ass place again, and you're going to be wondering how you got there. And this time, it's going to be harder to get out. Because literally, what happens is, they send seven more demons to attack you. Because they now have a learned behavior from you. And now, you just made them stronger. Because you wanted to cut it short quicker. Okay. Well, here we go. So, I'm consistent and... The things that I absorb. So, online, if you check my social media, I don't follow a lot of people. Even on my Instagram, I literally just, I don't follow people. Because I get to control what I digest. I get to control what I see. I'm notorious for controlling my my area. I'm not going to let nobody dictate what I want to see. I'm not going to, and I hate memes. Like, these little stupid ass people who are always um, trying to say, oh, that they're the life cultures while listening to this okay so um because this this is but this is good okay so first of all let me tell you what this says so i'm consistent in controlling my environment i control what i digest in my system because literally it creates healthy habits healthy patterns i'm not going to listen to a bunch of bullshit from a bunch of bullshit ass people so i start blocking people or I start cutting people off. Or I start basically, I unfollow. I unsubscribe. I, and depending upon where I am and the part of my journey is when I do that, right? So, this morning, there, there's, um, so this card right here. Stand on how you feel. I'm consistent in standing on how I feel. And I don't care who it is. I don't even follow my own kids on social media. Just so y'all are aware. Because of the fact that if it's not in alignment with where I'm going or who I am as a person, I'm not doing it. But I don't follow my own kids because I don't want to give other people access to them anymore. I literally, when I got attacked, because I follow my kids, my kids got attacked. So I unfollowed them to protect them. 
So it's several different avenues as to how minions, demons, devils get to interact with you, get to come into your space. And so walking away, learning, I'm consistent on walking away. If you need to do that, even with the person that I love the most, they said they wanted to be somewhere. So guess what? Okay. I want people to feel the way I feel. Like if I'm able to know and learn how to express love, of course I would want you to go feel that. Regardless of whether or not you don't love me the way that I wish for you to, you don't have to. That's just the way I am. I know how to love properly. I know how to let go properly as well. So, again, I start blocking, I start removing, I start doing a thing. So somebody's now questioning and asking to be unblocked. Because there's somebody, apparently, that you may have blocked, that you cut off from your energy, but the person's trying to get back in. The funny part about this is, this card says, I understand how you feel. When, I, when that card dropped, all I can see is, that's why I was laughing, stand on how you feel. Stand on how you feel. Don't let nobody come in and try to, especially if you're developing healthy habits for you. If controlling your environment keeps you safe or keeps people you love safe, stand on how you feel. Somebody has to understand how you feel. Or they don't. Because, again, it's not about them. It's about you. The situation is consistency. You have to be consistent in your, your rituals, your routines, in order for them to work. So I was laughing because somebody asked, um, do I sleep? I told y'all there's a thing where the people that I'm connected to, the people that, um, for some reason, we're all pulling on each other's energy. And we don't get tired, Okay. <laughs> we be tired, but we we'll, we'll don't get tired. That's the work ethic. You got to be consistent because when you want something, are you hungry enough? How you going to get it? So somebody likes tea or this is tea. You got to be consistent. You got to stay focused. It's like you got to have an eye or the tiger when there's something that you need or something that you want. Like I said, I'm productive. So don't ask me why this is happening, but it's almost like, the thing that I keep telling y'all about the battery. The battery is changing. You got to learn to let some stuff go. You got to learn to block some people, although they saying they want to be unblocked. No, you got to learn to control your environment. Because again, you are the architect of your life. So don't let nobody paint you a picture in life. When you see in people, what I was going to say about them memes, them, them uh, life coach gurus, that's anybody. That's everybody. That's me right now. Technically. So if I'm not saying the right thing for you, go. Go the other direction. You should run. Don't let nobody feed you something that you don't want to eat. Why would you do that? Because I'm damn sure not going to do that. So I'm not going to digest no bullshit. But be consistent in the things that you do. Be consistent in the way that you... It's like when I tell people, if you are... Uh, into tarot and you start going to tarot channels and it just don't feel right click the fuck out click out i've watched these people cast spell over top of people they cast them spells and then guess what them same tarot readers are not here anymore because remember i told y'all they were i was under attack i was under attack and be mindful because guess what you don't got to be so desperate to love somebody or be involved with somebody that you don't realize the energy, the frequency is going to flow. The people who belong here are going to, are going to get here. It's going, they're going to get here. Through hell and high water, the people that are supposed to be here with me are going to get here. I'm sending out the right frequency. The frequency is the frequency that I'm on, and my voice is carrying the frequency. So they're going to say, oh, that's her. That's her. They're going to automatically know. So, 
you don't be afraid to let somebody go. Don't be afraid to walk away. Don't be afraid to love yourself. Love yourself and put yourself first. Don't be afraid to control your environment. Continue to be consistent in your healthy habits. Continue to create daily. And, and the only reason why I call them daily rituals because brushing your teeth is a daily ritual. You do it every day. Well, so you should. Twice or three times a day. You should take a bath. As often as you feel like it. Whatever the ritual is for you. Because I don't got to tell you how many times you brush your teeth. But it's things that you're supposed to do every day. You want to wake up every day. Some of us. And I mean when I say wake up. I mean that's also like waking up and being present. So the things that you want to do on a daily basis. It's not for me to tell you what they are. It's basically creating healthy habits. As a human being and your life force, it shouldn't have taken me this long to realize because before I used to do it. It used to be a healthy habit of mine. I used to get up literally every day and drink a bottle of water. I got out of that habit. Why? The things that you hold true, the things that hold true and ring true to you are the things that you should be doing. So... If we continue to keep trying to push, it's 11, 11 on the clock. If we continue to keep trying to push against the things that our body is calling for, you won't have a body soon. If we, won't, if we continue to keep pushing against the things our mind is trying to tell us, we won't have a mind soon. Then we'll be living in mental health. So it's like being consistent again and showing up for yourself, taking care of yourself, doing the things that are necessary for you to be okay in this world. So... That was the thing, being consistent. That was the message. Be consistent in all that you do because consistency is going to be the thing that is going to open doors for you. Consistency is going to be the thing that shows people. Because the other thing is somebody said yesterday about my work ethic, about um, they've been noticing my videos are getting a further reach. I'm consistent and I've been showing up. And, and I, didn't, I didn't even realize how it made me feel to realize that somebody else actually acknowledged and saw the amount of work that I've been putting in. So that was actually really a thing. So here we have powerful personal growth. <laughs> wow. So stepping into your power, knowing who you are, controlling your environment. The magician has to control their environment because it's mental. It's like everything about it, everything about you has to be in alignment to bring that manifestation to fruition. So if you're allowing in stuff that is going to take you off, you're not controlling your environment. A magician has to control their environment. These shells are like a frequency because you can, because they do, do a spiral circle, spiral type thing, but in, uh, it always talks about in the design of life as well. So, because creation frequencies create patterns. Like if you dump some water on a speaker, it starts to vibrate and it creates a symbol or a pattern. So, if something or someone is not on your frequency or in your frequency, don't keep trying. Cut it. It's done. And that don't necessarily mean like, because you could have friends and family on your frequency. You control how much you time they you, FaceTime you give them. And that's period. And these people have to understand that. So again, I have been one that is able to control my environment because I'm by myself. Ever since my son has been gone, well, my son was here, but of course he was 17. I had to, you know, take care of him. He was, he was under my custody, under my care. When he turned 18, he did the thing. He now is at school. So as of now, I control my environment. I control who I let in or don't. I control the things that I see or don't. And I don't want anybody to feel offended. It's just that that's what keeps me safe. That's what keeps me consistent, consistently showing up for myself. So again, somebody saying, I understand how you feel. That's a blessing because, and I'm gonna stand on how I feel, okay? So just so we're clear, both things, because literally that's what I saw. Stand on how you feel. I'm going to stand on how I feel because it's not about what anybody, anybody else thinks. I have to figure out a way to manage, control, and be consistent in my environment 
until it's just me doing it without even thinking. Me waking up and going straight to the refrigerator to get me some water or whatever it is I got to do shouldn't offend anybody. Me controlling my environment and making sure that I don't allow demonic energies or entities in because they come by people who are close to you. They come by people who you allow in. You have to control your environment. So we got the little owling here. Wisdom is light as a feather. So it's not about being mean or malicious to anybody. It's not about like, you know, it's understanding who you are as a person. It's understanding how energy works. It's understanding how these little demonic ass beings work. It's understanding who it's understanding and you have to be consistent so you may meet somebody and their journey takes a t different task or different pathway from yours yours understanding see it acknowledge it and don't keep giving people access to you period because you got to remember i keep telling y'all people coming along to steal they want to steal so reciprocal energy is equal give and take But reciprocal energy equal give and take also don't mean I got to let you into my space. That's it. So I get to control my environment. I get to control what I see. So we are meant to be. Somebody thinks that you guys are meant to be. You're their favorite person and they want you to be their best friend. Again, giving me a person who's vibrating exactly the same as you on the same frequency. Um, to me, like, energies can be very erratic. I don't like that. Because, again, I'm consistent. When I went through the dark night of the soul from the beginning, because again, I still seem to think that we're all still here. Um, when I went through it from the beginning, I was all over the place. I was erratic. Because I was trying to figure out what I needed to do. And once I realized that was one of my cues, because I'm not that person. So that was the cue to show me something's off, something's different. Check yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because you're all over the place. That's not my energy. That's not That's not me. So that's why I was so easily to recognize it first. Some people don't realize they're in a the dark night of the soul for years. Like they just start creating habits that are not them, but they don't even recognize. Like it's almost like your eyes don't adjust to see it. It's like what I saw in that card. You see what you want to see. But if there was healthy habits that you did, daily rituals that you did every day, you would be consistent in knowing that that wasn't for you. I'm consistent in getting up and making my bed every day. So when my bed's not made, I know, hold on. And although some days I might not do it, every, I mean, sometimes I might not do it every day, but I do it so often enough and I try to change, train my body to wake up, fix your bed. You know when that healthy habit stopped? When there was a nigga laying in my bed that was lazy and didn't want to get the fuck up in the morning. I should have known then. That was out of alignment with me because I want to get up in the morning and I want to make my bed. I don't want nobody laying in my bed after the fact. But there's also ways of, because I also feel like in my next relationship, I want to have the same room, but I also want to have my own room. So that's one of my qualifications. I got to have my own room. You can have your own room. We can sleep together every night. But if you don't want to get up and make your bed, I don't want it to be a problem for me. So I'm willing to make an exception. It's just not going to be on me to where you get to lay in my bed. No, go lay in your own motherfucking bed. That way I can make my shit up and you get the fuck out of my room. I'll talk to you when, whenever you do whatever you're doing. So, together, forever, a soulmate is here. There could be a Gemini. Gemini stays in everybody's business, and I'm sick and tired of them. Y'all motherfuckers. Um, yesterday, because it, it's giving me the, the vibe, like, they're trying to make sense of a situation. That's why Geminis keep being here, because they're trying to make sense of why this is why that, because since they're so, you know, think they're you know, whatever they think they are, that they're not. But El Dia de Ayer, and yes, I said it. And if you're a Gemini and you don't like it, why are you here anyway? Because this is a fucking Pisces reader. Mind your business. Um, yesterday, 
is significant or important. Um, I don't know how to love you properly. And tell me what I could do to make you happy. Um, somebody wants to be your partner in crime and something about somebody being cut from a different cloth. Didn't I say training? Literally, the word training is here, okay? And every time, if you've been seeing this word come up, every time this card come up, every time I'm always saying maybe somebody's in training. Not Never what I said today as far as training. Training yourself to create ha healthy habits. So this is confirmation. Control your environment. A magician controls the environment. They have skill. They have willpower. They have understanding. They have knowledge. Somebody may drive a Toyota, a Honda, a Kia, or an Infiniti. Somebody stay and talk nice to me, okay? And we go together like peanut butter and jelly. Somebody's calling you Bay or wants to call you Bay. Something about Minnesota or up north is significant or important. Um, to me, you are perfect. And up north is up north, um, you know, uh, of the map. But for some reason, every time I see this up north right now, it's giving me Game of Thrones vibe. So, like advancing on territory it's the prayer of jabez oh that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory that your hand will be with me and that you would keep me from evil so i may not cause pain jabez is only mentioned one time in the bible god granted him everything that he wanted god increased his territory so your territory is being expanded my territory is being expanded why because we're controlling our environment you got to control those boundaries you got to create big boundaries that where people Respect it, don't cross it, and they know that they're going to get dealt with in the manner that they crossed it. Don't start none, won't be none. So your journey, your journey or somebody taking a road trip, but the road trip could be potentially part of the journey, okay? So we also have, I'm blessed to be a blessing, all right? Taurus is here. Taurus always gives me the vibe of, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, but somebody could be being very stubborn in a situation. And also, it's giving me spirit animal, like bull. So, um, up north, they say, you that bull, meaning you the shit. So, understanding who you are as well. Don't minimize yourself for anybody. Don't change your healthy habits for anybody. Don't compromise on you. Because people will always want you to compromise for them, for them. Don't compromise you on you. Fuck them. Somebody saying I'm an introvert. Something about the West End and royalty is significant or important. And I, that, for some reason, I told y'all that. I don't know why, but the West End, but it gives me Witches of Eastwick. And I don't know where they were filmed, but for some reason, that's the vibe that I'm getting. Somebody saying, I don't know how to i don't know how to tell you how i truly feel so somebody wants to talk to you but they don't know really what how to put the words into it the part they lips to say the words all right they jealous how i love you you just different all right so somebody feels a way about you that they don't feel about everybody else and people see it and they don't like it okay why is this person allowed to be this or that or the third or anything else all right so there's a card here that i just realized is here all right, somebody could be a Sagittarius, and this card also mentions Gemini. You see how they insert themselves everywhere? All right, so um, somebody's attention-seeking, and you're gaining clarity behind multiple situations today. Um, somebody's saying you're all I want, and somebody made you a mixed playlist. Um, if you're not following my other channel, Golden Girl 302 Go over there, please, and subscribe to the channel. It's G-O-L-D-E-N-G-U-R-L-302, all right? Because it's information and it's stuff that I'm doing over there that maybe you guys might want to see. And on top of that, if you follow me, you should want to, like, literally know who the hell you talking to. Like, you know, and understand, like, okay, I follow this person, I listen to them, and you should want to see, like, how I conduct myself in real life. Don't judge, though. <laughs> Don't be judging. <laughs> so, vacation is here, and you're my dream come true. Somebody wants to take you on vacation with them. All right, and somebody's saying, I make thoughtful decisions that support my highest good. All right. So, automatically off the bat, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck, karma, life cycles, destiny, a turning point, change, inevitable fate, ups and downs, and things being unpredictable. Unpredictable. 
whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger um right now it looks like to me like because i'm gonna just read this from what i see karma temperance moving and yes so somebody's asking should i move but somebody else was going, was going through karma. So going through karma, that's the thing. And you being told. So that, because it says omen. So it's showing you something. You had to pump your brakes a little bit. So that being there. But the four of pentacles, stand on how you feel. Stand on what you believe in. Because he's standing on money, literally. Stand on what you believe in. But also, that's like moving. A real estate, you're leaving. You're moving to somewhere different. It could be a different house, but also a different state of mind. There's growth and expansion here. Powerful personal growth. Wisdom is light as a feather. That's like weighing up the heart. Can you let go and let God? Let God do the work. So following God's will. Also, somebody continues to keep trying to trigger you into a situation. Because... The will of fortune, temperance. Temperance is patience. Having patience in a situation. They clearing it out. I am blessed. Okay? So you're blessed. They're clearing the situation out. They're trying to bring balance to it. You have to be patient. until Like it's delicate. So continue to keep pouring that water in them cups. It's delicate. So have patience. Now there's a movement card. Should I move? This is also about building solid foundations. If it's not a solid foundation, you got to get get the, get the fuck on. Because you're trying to build a solid foundation. Again, I'm going to tell you, the magician controls their environment. They don't just let random people bring random ass shit into their environment. No. Why? Why, why, why would you do that? that? That's weird. So then we have the sun card. It's yes. Yes. All is well. Happiness. Vitality. The sun. Uh, spread your wings and fly. It's basically saying jump out the window. So the, be a risk taker. So somebody's being told to take a risk. Are you going to do it? You could have people trying to hold you back. These can't hold me back. But somebody's being held back by this. Sometimes the victory isn't worth the cost. So somebody's creating conflict and everything else in your situation because they're trying to win at all, co all costs. They're trying to hold you still. They're trying to hold you stagnant. They're trying to take away a blessing that actually is for you. But you can't receive the blessing unless you do the things that you need to do. Be consistent. Be consistent in whatever your soul is telling you, whatever your journey, whatever, whatever your, or wherever your journey is leading you, you got to be consistent. You got to put one foot in front of the other every day. That's consistent. Every day. Also, strength here. This card right here. So, having strength. The courage to continue even though there's opposition. The courage to continue even though they keep sending fucking all types of demons and devils after me. People trolling my page and talking shit and doing this. And guess what? I'm going to be consistent and going to check your information. To gather anything that I can get to make sure that when these people come for you, meaning whoever the authorities are that need to come for you, they take you down because cyberbullying is a fucking crime. People commit suicide behind being cyberbullied. You're committing a crime. And again, my mom ain't raising no punks. So you can keep trying. They can keep trying all they want, but I'm gonna continue to keep reporting them. I'm gonna continue to keep sending, and I'm not deleting them. So when I report you, I report you to the proper authorities. Cause I'm not going to delete you. People need to see that this is happening. I'm not turning my comments off. None of that. Y'all basically bullied enough people into, we don't know if they committed suicide, but if they did, that's on your head. That blood is on your head. So even if you don't know whether or not they did, God know they did. That blood is on their hands. Cyberbullying is a crime. Punishable with jail. Where a lot of y'all need to be. Cause Apparently, you don't know how to mind your own business. You're consistently trying to mess with somebody's life. And if you succeed and they die, you're a murderer. So, your fault. You should be held accountable. You should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So, good luck. You should get what you was looking for. So, we have a page of, page of swords here. 
new ideas. So some new stuff coming into your energy. So being creative. Um, also be knowing how to communicate properly. So somebody may need to work on their throat chakra because it might be that you don't know how to stand up for yourself. You don't know how to say no. No is the answer, the beginning and the end. And if it's a no, that's a no, then it's a no. But also having some discernment because I'm also the person that says no is a no when it comes to invading somebody's personal space, touching somebody, something. But if there's a no that you automatically know because there is also other doors that won't be a no. Keep pushing, especially if it's no, it's, if you know that it's your divine calling, it's your destiny. There's other ways. There's other avenues because it's like when I told y'all before, you can get to Tampa from 95 South or you can get to Tampa from 75 South. I mean, there's other roads that you take in between there, but it's all going to lead you to the same damn place. So if there's something that your heart is wanting and it's just calling for you, know that it's still for you. Even if you got to take a couple detours, even if some of these little rat pack people standing in your way, oh, God going to move them. They going to move. It's like ludicrous vibes. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Move. You're not doing nothing but hindering the place or the situation. Go to jail. Straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Go take your ass to jail. Because the spirit is coming through right now. And they're not taking, okay, it's a karmic, this, that. No, they're not doing that. they basically huffing and puffing and blowing your house down. So anything that's in it, it's got to go with it. You should have thought about it before you was out here being meddling in other people's business. That's your fault. That's not nobody else's fault because that's also the thing about these people. They continue to keep doing shit. And then when stuff starts to happen falling apart with them their family this that and third they won't blame you not the fact that they came fucking around in your business that's weird that's really weird to me so we also have the chariot here which is movement then i just say move bitch get out the way move if you're not helping you hindering move your success in the face of difficulty this card says the same thing strength and this chariot both say the same thing strength is Courage in the face, face of opposition. Because I showed y'all this card um, before in the Vice Versa deck. In the Vice Versa deck, it shows you both angles, both perspectives, both perceptions. And strength card there has this angel, it has that lion, but it also shows the, the what they see, their angle. And the big devil, Goliath, is in front of their face. Move. We come in regardless, okay? God's team is coming regardless. So either you you going to move willingly or you just going to get moved out the way period so you suit yourself we coming all right and today we are feeling fucking amazing because literally control your environment okay control what you see control what you digest control what you consume control who comes around you control control your environment if you are a true magician and you're trying to manifest something you have to control your environment so don't allow people to create a life for you. You're creating, this is your, your shit. You're architecting this. You're, you're building this. You're building these structures. You're building the society. This is what you dreamt of. So if you allow people to insert themselves here, it's not you building it. It's going to be half-assed kind of messed up because then you're going to be saying, well, I don't like that portion of it. Well, you don't want to let it in. Block it. What I was going to say about memes is people, and, and I'm notorious for it. I don't care. It could be my favorite ass celebrity because I block that motherfucker on a daily basis too because I don't care. If that if people start posting stuff, and it's almost like they don't have discernment that these people who are talking are, they come up with the most random shit. It's like everybody following everybody. Oh, well, if this is happening, then you do this and this, then the third. But it's it's very much a cookie cutter. It has no depth to it. It has like no rhyme or reason. It's just basically general things that everybody says that come from the Bible or somewhere like that. My DNA don't uh, don't feel that. I told y'all, if my spirit don't feel it, I reject it. And I'm going to keep rejecting it until God says, okay, now it's time for you to consume that. Now I'll show you where it is. 
but I'm not going to let you force it under me. Even in the Bible, it says, I do not have to sit under the counsel of the ungodly. Meaning, if they acting ungodly or they showing you ungodly things that you know God would not do, what would, what would God do? <laughs> WWGD. Okay, what would God do? I think that's it. So what would God do? Would God sit and allow people to play in their face in his face and just spit a bunch of nonsense? No, bitch, you getting blocked, period. All right, so then we have the two of uh principles and and it's not no offense. It's just I'm not consuming that. Because I know better. And when you know better, you do better. So I might not be on a level where you are, you might not be on a level where I am, and it's okay. I'm not trying to force you to go nowhere because I'm not allowed to do that. I can give you, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. So if I led you to the water and you don't want to drink, don't be mad when I leave you there. I can't take you with me because it's going to be, it's weight. And, and I didn't came too far. I literally been sitting here since December, 2021. I came too far. I'm consistent in the things that I do. I didn't just learn anything and then just start thinking that I'm supposed to do things. No, I've been very consistent in the way I've been handling my shit. Whether or not you've been seeing it or not, because again, I keep telling y'all, go check me out. I got three years worth of videos sitting here on YouTube. I literally told y'all when I left and I literally told y'all how I got put back in the position to be right here. I told y'all why I left. It wasn't because I, I had other stuff to do. I was already running a business since 2012. It made me more money. But apparently God was saying, this is not going to make you money that you need right now. But this is where I need you at in, in, in position because you're consistent. You'll show up. Because even when I was doing something that I didn't want to do, I was consistent. I showed up because I knew that there was things that I needed. There was things that I wanted. There was things that needed to be done. And when God sends me to do stuff, I just do it. And yesterday somebody said... My readings, my old readings are now starting to pop back up. My old readings is what saved me. So literally, for some reason, if you're watching on your phone, it's only going to take you back six months. That's because they're trying to stop the messages from you. Some type of way, like if you go to a desktop version on your phone, you'll be able to see that there's three years worth of videos there. You'll be able to see everything that I'm telling you about from the time that I got pulled out of the dark nighters or pulled into the dark nighters, so not out of pulled into it. You can see that I looked like I was going through something. And every cycle I changed. And even to what I'm turn, turning into now. And I said, I used the word churning. So clearly, like, it's like turning. The, uh, as the world turns, you evolve. You become different. But creating healthy habits healthy rituals, daily rituals, allow you to know when your cycle gets thrown off easily or when something has invaded your space that don't belong there. So the first card was, I understand how you feel, even if they don't stand on how you feel, okay? So Pisces, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.